Hi, everybody. Miss Klein again. This time we are looking at the block, the game known as turtle. And turtle is a computer term that indicates the where the little cursor is. It's, it's not really a cursor, but it's the it's where your programming is starting. And so it's affectionately called the turtle. It's also what we're using to draw in this activity. So you're learning some really neat, basic terms in um, computer programming and using block-based coding. So again, you're not required to do more than five of these levels. Uh, Ms. Klein really likes, for, I don't know why, but I love the drawing ones. The math just comes fast and um, I enjoy making a picture with stuff. So this is one that I'll do all the way through level 10, but remember, you just need to do five. I want you to get used to the tools. Someday you'll be an amazing programmer if that's what you choose to do. And I look forward to seeing these amazing things that you do. But th the purpose of this class is to get you use the basics and then you'll start doing your micro bit and physical computing in a couple of weeks. So for the turtle, we're going to draw a box here. Now a box, remember a square has four sides. So in this program, we're using a loop and this loop is says repeat four times and then do these things those four times. So we need to move forward by 100, make a right uh, turn by 90 degrees, and then we're gonna do that four times. And I'm gonna put the rabbit on fast. So it shows you your, your JavaScript. Remember, pause the video if you wanna try the next one on your own. And I recommend it, these are, these are so much fun. And the, the, the other reason is that the the little sprite matches exactly. So you're not wondering if you're trying to figure out the bird one was a little bit awkward. You couldn't get exactly right on the nose there. So I recommend trying it. So we're gonna go to the next one. So level two, we're drawing a pentagram, which has five sides. So we're gonna use our repeat loop and five times, but this time we're gonna same side length, but we have to change our angle to 72 degrees. And you can do your, your math on that one. We're gonna make this go super fast. Yay, and it shows the JavaScript. I like this one because we can speed it up because I know the video can get to be quite long and you're just using me to help you when you get stuck. So let's go to the next one. Please pause the video if you wanna try three uh, on your own. Again, I encourage you to try it. So this time we have to set the color. So we're going into the colors to set the color. The turtle are our drawing and movement tools and the loops are how many times we might repeat something. So we're setting it to yellow. The star has five sides. The angle is 144 degrees this time. The sides are staying the same at 100. And so if you wanna see it slowly to see what your blocks are doing, you can run it very slowly. And then you can see it block by block how it's running. If you just want to test and make sure you did it right, you can go super fast. So there's your JavaScript. Again, pause the video. Ms. Klein's going to go to level four. So here we are at level four. We are going to draw a star. Then we're going to move without drawing for about 150 pixels. And then we're going to draw a very short line. So we're going to need our repeat loop again. Remember the loops are in here. We're going to need our color again. There's your color block. And then the turtle has a new block called pen up and pen down. So when we want the pen to draw, we put the pen down. When we want the pen not to draw, we put the pen up. So it's gonna put the pen down, make it yellow. It's gonna move forward by only 50 this time because it's a little star, same angles. Then we're gonna take the pick up the pen and move 150, put the pen down and draw it for only 20. So watch it draw a star. And then it's going to pick up the pen and not draw all the way up to there. And then it's going to put the pen down and then draw. It. So go ahead and pause the video and try number five. So this is really fun. This is four stars we're going to draw in the shape of a square. So you already know how to draw your straw, uh, stars. And the nice thing about the program is it doesn't delete your old blocks. So you've got your star blocks there. Now we're going to make sure we draw those those stars four times, we want four stars, but we have to move in between the stars. So I'm, I'll do this one slow at first so you can see 
you want to draw the star and then you're going to pick up your pen. You're going to go 150 up here, put the pen down and draw a star because it's, it's going to go, it's drawing a star first, then it picked up the pen, it moved 150 and it turned and it put the pen down, drew a star, picked up the pen, moved 150, turned, put the pen down, drew another star and it's going to repeat that. So you can see here it's drawing its star five times, it's doing its five sides of the star. And I'll speed it up in just a sec when it's finished drawing the star. So it's fourth leg, now the fifth leg. Now it picked up the pen, moved up here, put the pen down, and it's drawing the next star. So it draw through four stars in the shape of a square. So uh, pause the video if you want to try lesson level six before Ms. Klein shows you how to solve it. So this time we want to draw in the shape, we want our three stars in the shape of a triangle. So we have a loop of only, only three times. Here's our five sides of our stars. We didn't have to put any of these blocks down there. They're saved, saved for us. We picked up the pen and we did this three times. Now, when we're done drawing three stars, we are going to pick up the pen. We're gonna turn left by 90 degrees and we're gonna move forward 100 without drawing. Then we're gonna put the pen down and move forward drawing it for 50. So we need to put this back up there. So you can see it drawing the three stars. Picked up the pen, put the pen down again. So very cool. So pause the video if you want to try level seven without Ms. Klein's help. This is the one she's going to do all 10 because I, I love the drawing one. It's, it's fun and it's, it's easy to, to play with it. And the choices are nice because I think in the angles, they give you choices. You don't have to just guess everything like the, uh, the other one had, you had to really guess what angles you were doing accurately. So this one, we're gonna draw the three stars in the shape of the triangle. So we don't have to do any of that work again. But this time when we got here, remember we drew that line, we're gonna go draw that line. So we put the pen down, we drew the line by 50. Now we're gonna go back by 50, because we're gonna go back that line. We're gonna turn right and we're gonna draw that line out and back four times. So you need two different loops. You need a loop of three, actually three different loops, a loop of five to draw a star. Then you need a loop of three to draw three of the stars moving in between each star. And then you need a loop of four moving in between each line to get those. So I'll, I'll draw it pretty fast because you're gonna stop the video and you're gonna put the blocks in yourself anyways, then you can run it. So really fun. So go ahead and pause the video if you want to try level eight. Great, so this one is so neat. We're gonna draw a circle this time. And when I first was drawing the circle, I was like, ooh, how do I draw a circle with just lines? And then you remember that a circle has 360 degrees in it. So if you draw 360 little lines, it'll fill in your circle for you. So you, you wanna try to think logically with these. This is, that's what the fun is all about. So we didn't have to change anything with our three stars. They're still in the shape of a triangle. There's still five sides. So we had those two loops. Then we picked up our pen, turned and moved forward without drawing till we got to the center of the circle. And then we remember we had how do, we drew this, the line. We put the pen down, we moved forward by 50. We went back by 50 to get back to the center. And then instead of drawing just four, we're gonna draw 360 lines. We have to be careful to choose the right angle though. We want one degree because we want 360 lines each one a degree over. So this is, this will, you'll like this one. This is very cool. So three stars, and then it's gonna pick up the pen and move over here, draw one line. And now it's drawing 360 little lines. So I'll speed it up because then it fills in the circle faster for you. So very cool. So pause the video. Number nine is super fun. So don't give up yet. We're gonna draw, we're gonna make the moon uh, a crescent moon now. So you can see the end product. We want the moon to have a crescent on it. So we're gonna draw our three stars. Didn't have to change a thing. We're gonna draw a big yellow moon. Don't have to change a thing. But now we're gonna draw a black moon on top of it to make it look like it's only a crescent moon. So we're gonna draw the circle twice actually. So all I had to do to add that was when I was all done, I had to turn right by 120 degrees 
move forward by just 20 spaces so that the second moon is over it a little bit. And then, a same, I, then I change the color to black, put my pen back down again, and I'm just drawing another circle. So it's got 360 times, only one degree. So now it's gonna draw. There's the three stars. And it's gonna draw the yellow circle. Draw that fast. Draw the yellow circle, then it's going to move over a tiny bit, and then it's just going to draw a black circle on top of it. So you can't see the black circle because the background is black. So it looks like I just drew a little crescent moon. So very fun. Now this last level, uh, you don't have to pause it because there's no right answer. You're just drawing for fun. And so on mine, I just added a, like a red circle on mine. So I'll put it on fast. I left the uh, yellow moon and the black moon, and then I just drew a red circle. And I picked up my pen and went sideways and drew a, drew a red uh, circle somewhere. So it's fun. If you draw a piece of artwork, submit it to the gallery. If they like it, they are gonna put it on display for you. So that's kind of a special thing. So I encourage you, if you draw a piece of art, make sure you click the, the gallery. Then you can see your art will show up on there. Isn't that neat? <clears throat> so other kids will be able to see it. So you are done with the turtle, good job. Remember, you just had to do five of those, so, but I, I did encourage you to do all 10 because I love the drawing one. 